Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Today I have for you guys my everyday makeup routine. And this is literally what I do like every single day. This is what I do whenever I'm in a hurry. This is what I do whenever, obviously I just said hurry. But this is what I do whenever like I need something quick, but I need to get put together quick. And also I've been trying to do my makeup every single day this year, just, or at least more than I was, not every single day, because there are some times where I feel like I need to let my skin take a break because of things like this. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to do my makeup more this year. I really wanna get into trying out products, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like, and just using more of my makeup. I feel like I have way too much to not be doing my makeup every day, or at least four out of the seven days a week. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the application. And so the first thing that I always do, I go in with my Glossy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul, and I am just gonna apply that all over my face. Okay, and then the next thing I do is I go in with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer, and I'm just going to press this into my problem areas. So mostly in this area right here, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. So I'm just taking like that much. We're just gonna press that into our pores. I'm like pressing and rolling. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Skin & Company um, Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. And we're just gonna go ahead and also prime our face with this. Okay, so even though I'm not doing like a super glam look, I do still uh, do my eyebrows before the rest of my makeup. And what I've been using for every day, just because it's the lightest color of brow pencil that I have, and obviously for an everyday makeup look, I don't want a super bold, dark brow. So what I've been so using is my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil, and I have mine in the shade, I think mine's in the shade Soft Brown, if I remember correctly because it doesn't say it on here once you take it out the packaging, but I'm pretty sure mine is in soft brown because it's the lightest color that I have. And so we'll just go ahead and go in and fill in our brows. So that is it for brows, not it, it. I do wait to set them at the end, but this is why I really like this brow color because like I said, it's not too intense to where it's like boom, like it's not as dark as like my natural hair color. It's just a little, like a smidge lighter, which, make, which makes it like a smidge less bold. So the next thing that I go in with on my everyday makeup days is I go straight in with foundation and then I'm using my Photo Focus Foundation, the dewy one in the shade Cream Beige, and I'm just going to apply this on my face. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Kinda got a lot of little breakouts going on, but that's okay. I think it was time to wash our pillowcases and stuff and our blankets, so that's what I'm doing today because it's not like they're hormonal right here. They're like places where like I lay my face and stuff. So I was like, it's just, it's just time to wash that stuff. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite sponge, just my Dollar General sponge. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend that in. Okay, so after foundation, the next thing that I go in with, obviously, is concealer. So I'm going, I've been using my CoverGirl Undercover True Blend Undercover Concealer, and I have mine in the shade Golden Natural. And we're just going to apply this to the usual spots. These are literally the products that I've been using for every day. Like, these are my everyday makeup products. This is my everyday makeup look. Like, this is what I do. 
Hey guys, so I literally have seven minutes of footage where my camera froze and stopped recording with this in the frame. And so basically what I did on this part, I finished going in with my concealer. I applied my Makeup Revolution lace setting powder, I believe. And then I did go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Palette and used Milk Chocolate in my crease. And then we're going to pick back up where I am applying my lid shade. So, yeah. Okay, and then the next shade that I use is, oh, this is called Silted Caramel. And then this one is called Marzipan, Marzipan. And I'm gonna just take that onto my finger and put that on that empty lid space. And then going back in with that brush that we used um, salted caramel on, we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And now we will just take white chocolate and put that on our brow bone. Okay, and then the next thing I've been doing lately is I've been taking this Montour Big Mascara just to coat my lashes. And try to start from the very bottom and pull up. Okay, so that is what one coat looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll get back with you guys at two coats. So that's one coat on both eyes, and now we're gonna go ahead and apply coat number two. Okay, and then that is two coats. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same brush that we use salted caramel on, and I'm gonna run that along my lower lashes. I'm not adding any additional product. This is all the product that's left over on the brush. Okay, so that is top and bottom lashes, two coats each. And now, of course, we're done with that for now. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our bronzer. And I've been using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go in and contour slash bronze. Because like I said, this is an everyday makeup look, so I don't, there's something I wanna do fast and in a hurry. So I don't really want like the kids to wait or interrupt. So I try to do two for one and contour and bronze all at one time. Every time I do this combination of makeup, Brian really, really likes it. He's like, your skin, your contour, everything just looks so pretty and blended. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And then for blush, I have been, oops, it's trash. Every day for blush, I've been taking my Essence Satin Blush in the shade Satin Coral. And I like this because it, like, it gives you like a nice pretty glow while adding like a little, a light flush of color. So it's like perfect for every day. Like it's not too much. And this blush is like $2.99 and it really does last, like, I say it would last your entire work day or while you're running your errands. Um, mine usually doesn't run off, wear off. And I'm doing my makeup at like, usually around like 8, 9 o'clock. And mine usually won't wear off till about 6, 7 o'clock. So almost 12 hours. And then the highlight that I've been going in with, just because it matches the blush so well, is I've been taking my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder and I've been taking the shade Precious Petal. And I really have fallen in love with this brush. I just started using it this month. So this will probably be in my February favorites. At first I didn't like it because I feel like it didn't apply like highlight good enough, but I don't think I had like a, a 
how can I say, an intense enough highlighter. I think like at the time I was just using like pretty subtle highlighters. But look at this, like it just applies it so pretty. And then because it is a bigger brush, like it's easier because like it's a little bit precise, but not too precise. But you can also go like on the very tip and take it down your nose. You see? And then upper lip. Up the brow. And then like I said, it just adds like a really pretty glow and yeah. I'm falling in love with that brush. Okay, last thing, well, next to last thing, I've been taking my e.l.f. Brow Wow Gel and I have mine in the shade Deep Brown and this will add some of that color back since we had, since we've used a lot of powder and our powder has washed out our brows a little bit, this will add just a little bit of that color back and also help set them in place. And then I will go in and curl my lashes one more time, even though I'm not wearing falsies. This is something that I always do is curl my lashes before I set my face, whether I'm wearing falsies or no falsies. But can you guys believe for my everyday makeup look, I have not been wearing falsies. That is why I love this mascara. They don't make me feel like I need falsies. Okay, so that is it. And then for lips, of course, I have finally taken this out of my purse. So, what are you waving at? Can you yeah. see yourself? Okay, so I've finally taken this out of my purse and I've been loving it all over again. So this is my Iconic London lip gloss and this one is in the shade Nearly Nude. I just go straight in with the gloss, no lip liner, no nothing, just because it adds a shine and a little bit of color. The only thing I don't like about this is it's kind of messy. Now to figure out how to get this gloss off my shirt without making it worse. Okay, I have a stain remover that will probably get that out. So I don't think it's like bad or anything. And so then I've been setting my face with this and this is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray. This is actually really good. The only thing that throws me off is the scent, but the like this will keep your makeup on forever. Okay guys, so that is it for today's makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this on a good day with no interruptions. I can literally do this in 10 minutes because it's literally just foundation, concealer, like all the usual steps. And that's why I feel like I do my base first because I feel like once you knock out your base, like, like you're golden. And then it's only three colors for an eyeshadow. You don't have to use the exact palette that I use. You can use a bronzer, your highlighter, and then your your translucent powder to highlight your brow. Like you can use that if you don't want to use all the extra products. And so I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.